Right, here's what we'll do. First we'll introduce the video saying that it's the Minecraft Weekly News with your congenial hosts David and Toby and then we'll show some tweets and then the rest of the news. The tweets are as follows, Dinnerbone revels in his anonymity, Mark makes some poor wardrobe choices and Notch becomes a daywalker. Let's press on. First this week, Jeb posted a video on Team Mojang's YouTube channel, sharing a new feature of Minecraft Realms in a 1.7.5 work in progress build of Minecraft. What this means is that regardless of your current world, you can simply slip into a mini game selected from a menu and start playing it. This makes it easy to load up great content to play with friends, and with maps by FE Disco, Hypixel, Seth Bling and Dragnos, the list is already good and set to expand. Jeb says that Minecraft Realms is currently only available in Sweden, but uh, we are aiming to get it uh, available f for the rest of the world as soon as possible. Well, if that's not exciting, tell me what is. 1.7.5 is due in March this year, and this feature will be included for countries that have a Realm service. We can only hope that Realms goes worldwide soon after. This week's snapshot, 14W08A, dropped a day early this week as Dinnerbone is currently away in the UK, and is unable to do two things at once. <laughs> Crazy, right? It's primarily bug fixes as the team are slaving away at changes to help instigate the mod API. However, health can now be bound to the tab menu using the scoreboard system, which is a pretty cool feature for PvP servers. Links to the changelog are below this video. There are loads of great community made additions to Minecraft, and one I always love exploring is the resource pack. Let's show you one that we found this week, it's called Heartstone. A 16 bit journey into a fantasy land, this pack is made by the brilliantly named Fishy Mint. It's an old school RPG style pack, think Elder Scrolls, Lord of the Rings, that sort of thing. I especially like the look of the stone brick blocks. If you care to get this pack yourself, the forum page link can be found below. This week's adventure map is aptly entitled Another Adventure, and represents a year of work on the part of Minecraft forum user JR. It's almost exclusively a parkour map, but makes great use of redstone and command blocks in order to make the map as fluid to play as possible. Jay writes that the map took him 3.5 hours to complete, and he knows all the jumps, puzzles and best ways forward. If you feel like you're a Minecraft parkour expert, try this 4 plus hour map on for size. There are some fantastic builds in it to discover as well, we've left the links below so you can play it yourself. On the pocket edition front this week, Johan has tweeted a screenshot of lovely new trees from various biomes, minus their correct colours as yet. There was a sneaky screenshot of a tamed wolf on the Mojang blog post about the PE team's progress, so we can look forward to them in 0.9.0 as well. In advance of that, Johan is raising hopes for more exciting images later this week. For those of you that have been testing Pocket Realms, the service will end on March 1st, but your worlds will be saved when the focus moves back to MCPCE Realms once the PC version has been put into motion. Slowpoke has released the latest news on the Feed the Beast, perhaps the most exciting is of the new merchandise representing the new mod packs on the FTV client. You can head over to the shop by visiting the links down below, otherwise, and more importantly, support of the 1.7 packs has been improved, and there is opportunity for you to help out. But hey, don't take our word for it, check the show more section for the full story. Dinnerbone and Grum did an informal interview this week with the developer tool creators JetBrains for their company blog. From how they got started with coding and developing, to what time of the day they function best, Dinnerbone and Grum answer a wide range of questions. It can be hard to relate to people who are so far away from us, and I think a lot of us take Mojang's developers for granted sometimes. Take the time to get to know Dinnerbone and Grum a little better, and further appreciate the thousands of hours that they put into Minecraft. The link's below. Ok, now that the news is over and done with, this is the part of the video where we say goodbye and end. Here's a couple of leading links, one to last week's solo news creation, the other to an insight into how to use the snow golem effectively. This word here is subscribe, which is a thing that you should do if you haven't done so already. Our Twitters don't come with a subscription fee, so go and do that as well, and we'll see you again next week, same time, okay?